is our steak and ale pie. For our steak and ale pie, you'll need 25 grams of plain flour, 900 grams of diced beef, five tablespoons of oil, 25 grams of butter, two onions, one tablespoon of sugar, four garlic cloves crushed, 300 millilitres of beef stock, 300 millilitres of brown ale, one teaspoon of tomato puree, the leaves from three sprigs of thyme, three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, a one packet of chilled puff pastry, one egg beaten to glaze, and freshly ground salt and pepper. So the first step is to mix together your salt and pepper with your 25 grams of flour, then put in your beef and toss around. Toss, toss your diced steak in your flour until every piece is evenly coated. The next step is to add three tablespoons of oil into a pan and then add half of the beef and fry until round one to two minutes and then take it out, transfer it to a plate and move on to your next half. Once all of the meat is nicely browned, we are then going to add in our butter, the rest of our oil, our sugar and our onions into, into our pan and cook those for 20 minutes, stirring frequently. We cook our onions on a low heat for 20 minutes, stirring occasionally. After 20 minutes, we are going to add in our garlic and sprinkle over one tablespoon of flour, then stir together, then cook for one minute. After one minute, we are going to add in our tomato puree, our Worcestershire sauce, our beef stock, and our ale. Add in your thyme leaves and then add all the beef back into the pan. Once that is bubbling away nicely, we are going to reduce the heat down, part cover it and let it simmer for one hour until the meat is tender and the sauce has thickened. After one hour, turn off the heat and allow it to cool completely. So once our pie filling is completely cool, we are going to start, we are going to start assembling our pie. So what, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our pie tin and we're going to just put it on here and just slightly push down, creating an indent so we can cut out our puff pastry. Now we're going to carefully cut around this indent, creating our pastry lid. Once you have cut out your pastry lid, you're going to use the off cut to make a border around your pie dish so we have something to stick our lid to. Then we're going to carefully spoon our cold pie filling into our dish. Then we're going to carefully lay our lid on top of the pie. Now we're going to go around the edges of our pie dish with a with wooden spoon, pressing down gently as we go, which creates a lovely pattern and it also bonds, binds together the two layers of pastry. So now we're going to create some holes in our pastry with a knife and then we're going to egg wash it. Now we're going to carefully brush the surface of the pastry with our beaten egg. So we are now going to put this in the fridge for 30 minutes to allow our pastry to rest. After 30 minutes, take your pie out of the fridge and put it in a preheated oven at 200 degrees for 30 minutes until well risen and golden. After 30 minutes, remove your pie from the oven, then it is ready to serve. We like to serve ours with orange and honey glazed carrots, soy red cabbage, dough filled potatoes and sweet chilli baked courgettes.